And we're here with Anna. Now I'm forgotten Dr. the last name. Falkowski. 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 Yeah. Yes. And he had it all. Falkowski. Yes. He was practicing and practicing. Yes. In it, so. Falkowski. Thanks for coming in. Anna. Yes. Thank Having you very me. much. Nice to meet you. And this yeah. is—is is it Terry Lynn? Terry Ann. Terry Ann. She's one of my patients. Hi, Terry Ann. How are you? She's very relaxed. <laughs> yeah. She's just now, having a... The only problem I have with this, right? We're talking about cosmetic surgery, mm -hmm. surgery, and or not no, cosmetic acupuncture. acupuncture. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but Terry Ann doesn't look like she needs yes. anything done with her. Yeah, so. no, she's got pretty great skin. She does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's about prevention as well, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. there are a few areas that Terry Ann did discuss um, she would like to work on. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So yeah. this is something relatively new then, Anna? Or? It is. Well, it's new to Canada, but it's been around for years, actually, in Hollywood and within celebrity circles, mm -hmm. and for thousands of years within the Asian cultures, but just recently gaining popularity here in Canada. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, this is a really great alternative to some of the more invasive and risky mm -hmm. procedures mm -hmm. like Botox more and surgery. surgery. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so this is yeah. a very natural approach mm -hmm. to skin care and you know health of the skin in general mm. how does it work I mean how does because you're not taking anything away you're not mm -hmm. putting anything in mm -hmm. and you're you're using these fine little yeah. leaders so yeah. how does it work well it's very much based on the philosophies of traditional Chinese medicine mm -hmm. um, so we are inserting very fine needles into the mm -hmm. acupuncture points in the face and we're stimulating blood flow to the area okay. and with the blood flow also comes collagen mm -hmm. so collagen comes in and fills in the wrinkles and we're also toning the muscles of the face so you can really improve the general tone of the mm -hmm. face and the segginess in the skin as well mm -hmm. really yes so what what kind of clients are coming in are you getting everybody as young as this little lady here or? definitely i mean this is the, the best time to start mm -hmm. with with the maintenance um, but you know a lot of women in their 40s 50s mm -hmm. are perfect clients because they're starting to see those little changes in their face but they don't want to do anything too drastic and anything too mm -hmm. costly as well right mm -hmm. um, so this is a great alternative for them yeah. Yeah. Can, you, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about about the needles and we can Yeah, so they're always on. disposable needles they're completely sterile and especially for the face can we open I'm, this? Can yes we you open? can yeah you can open them um, once little. they're open of course we never use them um, okay. They're very thin. They're like hair thin. Yeah. They're very flexible, and so for the well, face, I use even it. I use even smaller ones. <laughs> so we won't exactly. be using this in our well. Oh, so there's different. There's different. These are gauges. for the face. These are yes, yes yeah, exactly. So there's different ones. So you mm -hmm. wouldn't just be using the acupuncture for the face. You'd be using a different part. That's of right. It. Well, as a naturopathic doctor, I use medical acupuncture as well. So mm -hmm. I have you know different needles for different areas of the body. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what I like to do when I do the um, cosmetic acupuncture is also incorporate some points that are medical acupuncture points that can very much help promote uh, more blood flow to the face okay. and very balancing for the body as well. Great. So can we, yeah. can you show us yeah, a few we'll, things? Yeah, we'll begin. Uh, have you had this done before, Terry? Yes. You have? Yes, have. Okay. How does it feel? when it, is it? It's, you actually feel a little bit of a pinprick when the mm. needle first goes in. Mm -hmm. um, nope. And then gonna, nothing. Sorry. I probably can't hear you there, sorry. No, just, no problem. When the, uh, when the needle first goes in, you feel a slight pinprick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very slight, and it's not painful. And when it goes in, then it's just more like energy going to that area mm -hmm. just okay. from the increased blood flow. Great. So what made you decide to, to look into something like this? Well, actually, I've come to see Anna for some hormone balancing. Mm -hmm. And I had acupuncture, medical acupuncture done uh, on my body. Mm -hmm. and, um, and Anna tried one day just some cosmetic acupuncture points on my face. And even the first time I had had it okay. done. Yeah. Apparently the mic's not yeah, working, the mic, so the I had a little problem. Mic's not working, We picked up a little bit, but we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll uh, maybe Dean's uh, uh, like holding his microphone over <laughs> <laughs> you like that. Very very casually. Okay. Oh, so what are you doing here, Anna? Now you're... I'm just putting a couple points in the feet as yeah. well, because oftentimes when you have like 50 needles in the face, it's too much energy to that area. So I like to mm. balance it out by putting a little, you know, a few points mm. in the other acupuncture area. So you would actually put 50... 50 needles in, in uh, her face? You can go up to 50 needles, yeah. depending on you know, how much work they need done. Mm -hmm. um, because oftentimes um, we will also thread the acupuncture needles just underneath the wrinkles. Yeah. So you could do a whole line, you know, right across the forehead or the chin. So how long would something like this take if somebody comes into your, to your clinic? It can take 15 to 20 minutes, actually, to insert all the needles. Mm -hmm. And then I'll leave them uh, with the needles in for another 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'd say an hour session mm -hmm. okay. each time is what we'd be looking at. And would you recommend coming in on a weekly basis, or would they come in monthly or every six months? Or the recommendation is 10 to 12 treatments, and it's up to you whether you come once or twice a week. 
Mm -hmm. And then, so you'll get your pretty much maximum results after about 12 sessions. And that, those results will last you anywhere from three to five years mm -hmm. with monthly upkeep. So just once a month, you'll need to come back in and, and so, get a little touch up. So really? uh, what is Terry Ann, what did Terry Ann come to you for? Uh, what did she want to change? Just because we can't hear, hear her, so maybe. You yeah, well, originally it was with the hormonal balancing. So I was okay. doing, you know, tra traditional Chinese acupuncture mm -hmm. with her. Um, and then we were always discussing, she, she had a little concern about the frown lines that were beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been working on the forehead and um, Tarion has noticed a decrease in that. She's mm -hmm. had people comment. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any lines yeah. there at all. So how many uh, procedures has she had already at this point then? Has she had... She hasn't had well, any uh, of the full yeah. acupuncture, but what I always do for Terry Ann is when I'm treating her, um, you know, her, her whole body, mm -hmm. I will always add a few, just a few needles right in her forehead for her. Yeah, just to, yeah, right just to yeah. see. Now, how do you, obviously, you went to, uh, you know, great length in your schooling to do this, mm -hmm. but how, how do you, what is the significance of the points of the spots that you are selecting mm -hmm. to put the needles in? Some of them are traditional uh, Chinese acupuncture points. Mm -hmm. So the face contains a lot of um, points where the meridians begin or end. So very powerful area mm -hmm. um, in the face. And then some of the points are actually just going right into the wrinkles. Okay. So problem mm -hmm. areas. Okay. So people would do this for cosmetic you know, reasons or they do it for health as well. Exactly. It is. It promotes health on all levels. Mm -hmm. And people do find that this is a very uh, relaxing procedure as well. They typically feel very mellow mm -hmm. uh, coming out of it. And they go home and they have a really great night's sleep. Mm -hmm. really? Well, Terry Ann's nodding her head. So she's I know, agreeing I'm, I'm with watching you, them. Which is, which is hard to believe as you're oh, having boy. sort of tiny little needles <laughs> put in. And she's nodding and she's feeling very relaxed. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm glad that you're here and I'm not on there right now. <laughs> yeah. Why do you stick those little needles in? But, but it does work. It does... You'd notice, a, you'd notice a, a difference right away. Definitely. And we use really, really fine needles for around mm -hmm. the eyes and mm -hmm. for around the mouth because those are typically very sensitive areas. Yeah. Uh, but really great for people who are starting to notice sort of uh, the bagginess under the eyes, the yeah. very fine laugh lines, mm -hmm. and also right here on the lips, yeah. even smoker's lips, you know, the little wrinkles that they're getting. Yeah. And it does promote actually collagen formation in the lips so you can get some plumper lips from the treatments as yes. well. Mm -hmm. See, now I've... I, I, my understanding that those little lines around the mouth mm -hmm. are more common in, in women yeah. than in men. And I, one of the reasons, <laughs> apparently, is uh, because men shave. And apparently yeah. when, from shaving, yeah. I, was, I read once that because the, they use those they're muscles the a little more. Well, they're yeah. using the muscles oh, in there really? too more than, hmm. than women that's would do so. so See, that's one, one observation that I've made with you here today is that you're not even flinching when you're putting the needles in. No. There's not even a... One of the observations I've yeah. made is that you have a whole lot of needles stuck in there. <laughs> so, just out of curiosity. So. Now, um, yeah. now what, what would be some of the typical, the other typical things we talked, uh, typical or the most common things mm. that people come to you uh, to uh, deal with? Yeah. I, I work a lot with uh, women's health issues because mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot of hormonal imbalances out okay. there, infertility issues. We are recently trying to use the acupuncture with in vitro fertilization as well. They've mm -hmm. done studies where uh, they've shown that incorporating some acupuncture treatments right after the in vitro fertilization procedures, you increase conception rates by about 20%, really? which is really fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, women who are suffering from irregular uh, menstrual cycles, mm -hmm. even menopause. Really fabulous for those issues, but some people just come for anxiety. They want to, it's you know, stress relief. Stress relief, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, they're, you know, they're stressed. They want some something to help them cope with the anxiety. Yeah. So they come on a weekly basis for that. Mm -hmm. But also digestive complaints, you know, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndromes, mm -hmm. food allergies. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as a naturopathic doctor, I don't just do acupuncture. So I always look at it from a very holistic mm -hmm. perspective. We do a lot of nutrition and dietary you look at the changes. The whole picture. You're not just zeroing in on one. Exactly, and yeah. everybody needs some sort of supplementation as yeah. well. Now when these are taken out, um, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no blood, is there? No, I was not. So, I mean, that, so I mean, you're not walking out of the office, back to the office with all these little red spots all over the No, place. you're not. You know what, once in a while you have a little bit of, not a big bleed, mm -hmm. you, a little blood will come up. You can ha get bruising, but you know, it rarely happens. Yeah. Okay. If people yeah, would like yeah. some more information about this, mm -hmm. uh, because well, like any procedure, I suppose there's there's certain risks involved, I suppose, that, you know, with, with any, I'm assuming. Certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, where's a good place to visit if people want some general questions mm -hmm. and answers about uh, acupuncture? Actually, on our website, vitalityforlife.ca, okay. we have posted some articles about the cosmetic acupuncture and what to expect and so okay. on. So, so that'd be a, a good place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah.
And you're located in Barrie. In the south end in Barrie. That's okay. right, on, on Bryn Drive. Yeah. Okay. So now I notice these, these, these needles are kind of pinky colored now. That's right. Now, if I want to come in, could I have like a, like a blue, you know? Because I <laughs> no, don't think it's really my color. <laughs> <laughs> Most women like that glow in their face. They like face. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so yeah, much, Anna, you so for much coming for in. Coming yes. in and thank you. Yes, for being a little much. guinea pig here. <laughs> yeah, great. You've done a great job. You have. You've been a real yeah. I mean, it's really quite amazing. Mm -hmm. to, to see it. We've seen it on TV, a lot of us. I know. Well, here we are seeing it on TV. Yeah. And now I'm seeing it firsthand as well, and it's it's quite amazing to yeah. see. I mean, really. I can't get over that you haven't relaxed. flinched at all. Like, there's obviously yeah. no pain there at all. Good for you. Well, so that's, okay. a, that's a good thing. Excellent. So. Well, uh, thank you again for coming in. We're thank going you. to be back in a moment to wrap up the show and to mm -hmm. thank all the guests and talk, and to you talk about, about Monday. what's coming up on Monday. And yes. who's not going to be here on Monday? Yes, I know. Okay. You're going to have beautiful Michelle here on Monday. So please stay with us. Uh, you know,